Welcome to White Lecture Online. Sometimes our transfer functions become very large in value because, after all, it is a relationship or a ratio between the final output voltage versus input voltage or the output current versus the input current. Or if we're comparing power, it may be the power provided over the power input. So what we need to do then, if the values become very large, we need to come up with a scale factor and the decibel scale is just perfect for that purpose. So in other words, if we have very large values for the transfer function, then we use a decibel scale. And the power gain, G for gain, is an expressed in terms of a ratio of the power of output versus the power input. And let's say that P2 is 100 watts and P1 is 1 watts, then the ratio would be 100 to 1. That's a large ratio. So how do we express that gain in dB? Well, the gain in dB, by definition, is equal to 10 times the log, base 10, of the ratio of the power. So that would be 10 times the log of 100, and the log of 100 is equal to 2, so that would be 20 decibels. In other words, that would be a 20 decibel gain. If the power is twice as much, then, it would be, then the gain would be 10 times the log of 2 to 1, and the log of 2 is equal to about 0.3, so 10 times 0.3 is 3 decibels. So in other words, when we see a gain of 3 decibels, then we know that the power output is twice the power input. Or if the decibel gain is 20 decibels, then we know that the power output is 10 times the power input. And oh, not 10 times, 100 times the power input. So that's why that comes in quite handy. And on top of that, in addition, we also use the decibel scale for the bold plots. And we're going to get into the bold plots pretty soon. So obviously, we're going to need this to continue with using frequency response and transfer functions as expressed in bold plots as well. And that's how it's done.